all else fails, we don't. I want in. G.I. Joe is the latest toy to take over Hollywood. Inspired by the Hasbro action figure, G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra earned more than $56 million at the U.S. box office this weekend. Counting overseas sales, the film grossed just over $100 million. I'm Julia Child. Bon appétit. Second place went to Julie and Julia, an alternative for the adult audience. The film stars Meryl Streep as French chef Julia Child and Amy Adams as a New Yorker who decides to cook all her recipes in a year. It earned just over $20 million. Blaster, Juarez, time to get this party started. And in third place, the guinea pigs of G-Force. They proved their staying power after three weeks, chewing up nearly 10 million more to close in on the 100 million mark. Big films out this Friday include the sci-fi thriller District 9, you to me from Vanessa Hudgens in Band Slam, and Eric Bana and Rachel McAdams in The Time Traveler's Wife. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press. There is no such thing as time travel. Well, if you hang around long enough, you'll see me disappear. One second he was there, and the next, he was gone.